Sometimes there's hardship. See, make no mistakes about it. There are times, especially at the beginning stages of your faith life, where things might look hard. And you're like, hey man, what's going on? He says, learn to endure. Learn to endure. Go through it. Stick to what you believe. It is add to your faith virtue. And to virtue, knowledge. To knowledge, he says, temperance. To temperance, he says what? Endurance. Stickability. Sometimes there are people who don't know how to stick with a job. They have this job and then people start talking about them. You call yourself a Christian and then they are, Oh Lord, why me? Why me? Oh, I'm the only Christian in the place where I work. They want to, they want to leave. You don't have to leave. Learn to endure. Endure hardship. The Bible tells us to endure hardship as a soldier. Endure hardship as a soldier. Sometimes you're in a job, for some reason, they've not been able to pay. If it's not consistent with their character, you don't have to leave. Well, they don't pay, they don't pay for three months, now I'm going. No, hold on. If it's not consistent with their character, but if it's consistent with their character, then use me in there, get out. But if it's not been like that, and now that company is going through some stress. They're having some problems financially. Don't just get out. First learn to stick. First find, because God may use you to provide the solution. Don't immediately leave. Find out what should you do under the circumstances. Start learning. To stick with something. To endure hardship. Hallelujah. Learn to endure. And while you're enduring, it's with hope. With hope for a brighter day. Some people endure without hope. That's sad. Well, things have never been better. I don't think that things are going to be better. We are just going through it. It doesn't matter. We have been suffering for some time now. No! That's not the kind of patience he's talking about. He's talking about patience with hope. Patience with hope. If you have patience without hope, it's useless. What are you patient for? You are not being patient. You are at home. But patience speaks of hope. Because it means you are waiting for something. You see it? You are waiting for something. There is a brighter day coming. So you keep creating the picture. Creating the picture. Creating the picture. There may be a time when you have to stay with somebody. You may not get all the nice meals you would, you would want while you're staying there. And your hatch. If you're living with someone and you're not an adult, you know who an adult is? All right? You're an adult. I mean, I can understand you 23 years old, 24 or more, and you're living with somebody, you expect three meals on that person's neck, something's wrong with you. One meal is enough. They give you the other two, say no thanks. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, I'm telling you something important. Listen, I'm telling you something important. You know why? Because when you become comfortable with the three meals they're giving you, you'll never go. <laughs> you'll never go. One is enough. If you get that much. I'm living with my uncle. 
If you're smart, by the time you're 18 years and above, one meal is enough in your uncle's house. Don't take more than one meal. He said, what if you're not working? Then don't eat at all. <laughs> well, that's what the Bible says. Is there anybody who will not work should not eat? If you are taking three meals in